welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel I know some people don't like that um, let me know in the comments down below if you don't like when people say that um, I don't know if you guys keep up with youtuber tea but um, I watched this past week um, Jesse smiles talking about Gabby Hanna which is a whole mess um, <laughs> I have a lot of opinions if you guys ever want to talk YouTube pop culture with me feel free to DM me on Instagram. This is a really weird tangent, um, but it, I promise it makes sense, but pretty much Jesse Smiles was saying that like Gabby Hanna thought uh, Jesse was throwing shade at her um, because she said she hates when people say like, welcome back. Um, so let me know <laughs> what you guys' thoughts are on that. I have two orders, one that's super massive um, and one that's really small. Um, I was going to wait and see if I was gonna get more mail. I'm currently filming this on a Wednesday. I typically try to film these on like Sunday after a whole entire week comes through um, and make sure I get all my mail. Um, but I really want to play with these stickers. I am sick today um, and I am off work uh, and so I really want to play with some stickers. I just feel really bad about like not being into my planning and just kind of like making up a lot of excuses because like sure stuff has happened. It's been really hard with school and whatnot and I am trying to get it done but I definitely do think I have time. I definitely know that there's just time I'm sitting around like being depressed and I really want to like lean into planning because um, I do think it's a fun outlet and it makes me happy um, but I also do want to have half of that time also going towards my sticker shop um, and improving there. So yeah this has been a weird you know first minute of talking before this haul but i'll go ahead and get into it before i get into this massive paper shire haul let's just start off with these four wax melts that i got from wit and wax um and wit and wax is run by cricut paper co um so if you are not familiar with them you should definitely try out their wax i have hauled their stuff a bit here on my channel um in my hauls and i really do enjoy them i only got four cents this time and they're all sweet. I'm kind of really leaning into sweet smelling wax. Sorry, I was moving that out of the frame. Um, I'm really leaning into it. I do sometimes try to get like fruit and you know, sometimes a clean, whatever, random, but I think I'm just really into sweet wax and I just, I'm gonna stay on that for now. Um, but I got the Roadhouse Rolls. I currently have one of these that I asked my friend to pick me up, but I guess she could keep it if she wants to. Um, pretty much I saw this like, you know, forever ago after um, I had ordered and I didn't want to place another order. And my friend Cindy, who lives, you know, like a state away from me in Maryland, um, I was like, hey girl, like, can you pick this one thing up for me in your order? Cause she was ordering two. I was like, can you just pick this up for me? And like, I'll pay you or something like that. And I never, <laughs> I never still haven't got it from her, but it's okay, it's okay, Cindy. Um, but I got these Roadhouse Rolls, uh, finally. And the notes are freshly baked dinner rolls topped with whipped honey butter and cinnamon. And they're supposed to be inspired by, um, Roadhouse. Is it Texas Roadhouse? I don't know. Um, I've, n I've never really been to one. I have had the rolls. I do think they're immaculate. And this bar smells immaculate as well. I think this is like the second kind of roll smelling um, wax melt I've had. I think the other one I've had is the poo smell from Fantasy Wax. I think I ordered another one because um, I think I've already melted it, but it's really good. This is lemon cake, which is decadent buttery pound cake with fresh grated lemon zest and sugary icing. My mom's super into lemon cakes and um, just any type of citrus cake. Um, sorry, my ice maker is making ice, but um, I don't know if you can hear that in the background. But um, for my mom's birthday, she, I, I made, and also my boyfriend's birthday, they share the same birthday, I made some... Uh, fuzzy navel cupcakes so she's really into like citrusy and fun uh, cupcakes so yeah lemon cake it smells really good um I think I read the notes decadent buttery pound cake with fresh grit I think I, I remember reading that but it smells really good um and I'm all about you know sweet smells this is strawberry shortcake which is vanilla pound cake topped with fresh picked strawberries and whipped cream looks just pretty so pretty and that smells so good. Um, very good dupe, I want to say, for maybe strawberry pound cake from uh, Bath and Body Works. Like, if you like that, you would definitely like that one. And this is French toast, which is golden fried bread with sweet churned butter, syrup, and powdered sugar. This was right up my alley. It smells really good. 
So those were the four scents that I got from Wind Wax. I don't really have any skepticism on whether or not I'd like them. Um, so yeah, now let's go ahead and get into this paper shire order. Also, this is going to be the first part of a haul that, you know, that's going to be a collective haul on my channel. There's one that I just put up. Well, hopefully I'll have some videos in between that haul and this one. So hopefully it won't be like, go look at the old video. Like I'm hoping to do some stuff for y'all and be more active. So we have like freaking three packages, four packages here from Paper Shire. And the, I didn't place four orders. I placed two orders during their birthday sale. Um, then you have this journaling card, which is just the cutest. It's just such a vibe. No coffee, no wakey. I think this is A5. I might punch this and put it in my A5 um, script storage. Um, just thought it would be cute. Uh, it can help separate each section if I get enough of these, because I think she does A5 every time. Hopefully one day she'll do B6, because that's what I currently use. Um, but yeah, let's just go ahead and open these. Let's start off with this one. First of all, I think this is such a cute little touch. I'm gonna zoom y'all in. I just, I'm, I wanna do stuff like that for my shop. So, first here we have the June Facebook exclusive freebie. You have a vanilla with a lollipop, a vanilla playing a guitar, um, a vanilla with avocado. I love avocados. Um, vanilla with like emojis, like a heart eye emoji vanilla with a baby. I don't have any babies. It could be me and my boyfriend and my dog. Um, vanilla being abducted by aliens. I cannot tell what this is. Maybe it's like chicken, fried chicken. There's a moon. You have this flat lay of like watermelon, strawberries, and juice and a donut. So good. I love watermelon and strawberries so much in the summertime. You have this outfit flat lay. Then you have the vanilla and the bear, like a banner. Um, this little functional text bubble. This one's so cute. Oh, Zinni, please bring more of these. And then um, this one here too. That's equally as cute. I love the Shop Villa Beautiful pen. All right, and then here is the All Orders freebie. I love getting these. I need to use them more often in my pocket. I will, I'm gonna show you guys, I'm working on it. I mean, my pocket, I don't really need to make it crazy and set it up crazy. I just need to take out my cards out of it so you can see but I will do a pocket walkthrough sorry I'm burping and I'll do a b6 walkthrough I actually started to work on a b6 walkthrough I have part of that footage it's just that my camera died while I was filming it like filming to filling it out um for a monthly then I have the 20 pound orders um freebie it's just vanilla she's kind of like sad kind of a mood she's stuck in a hole like this is so cute and then you have the 40 pound orders freebie, which is like vanilla skincare. And then you have the 60 pound orders freebie, which is like these houses, vanilla, you know, on the computer on the floor, vanilla and the bear. And then, yeah, you have those repeated again. And then this is the 80 pound orders freebie, which is like vanilla crying underneath a bunch of paperwork, vanilla sleep on the laptop, deadline. Vanilla with like fire coming out of her ass. Um, vanilla like stressed out because of time running out. And then you have some more of those. And then 100 pound orders freebie. Um, which is vanilla with like the little, um, how do you call that? Like the travel pillow around her neck. Um, like a little travel thing of beauty things. A postcard with some um, tickets. A little suitcase, the eye mask, um, a little map. And then repeated down there you have to put more vanillas so these are the stickers that are a part of this which is the fairground um, I have gone to some fair so I think this is really cute and nice to mark some stuff um, you have vanilla rage there's like a bunch of vanilla releases you have cute dim sum you have the takeaway boxes you have the this is fine vanilla Sorry, my phone's going off. You have the sleep in pillows. I got the Play-Doh and Legos. Um, I don't have any children, but I do play with Legos and so does my boyfriend. So I thought these would be adorable. Um, we have pasta dishes. And when I say play with Legos, I mean like we do the building stuff. <laughs> Just so you guys know. Um, these are the pasta dishes. We have the dim sum steamers. Mario Kart. I love Mario Kart. Except like, I don't know if anyone else has ever experienced this. It hurts my eyes. I don't know why. Um, you know, if I'm like, I guess like staring at screens, it's not good for you, but whatever. This is the donut boards. 
These are Star Wars vanillas. I love Star Wars. We have the Avengers wands. I love this one. I love um, Captain Marvel. She's my like spirit animal. Then we have Mandalorian, which I've never watched, but I'm going to. We have WandaVision. I'm glad I haven't back planned watching WandaVision because I'll just use these. I did have some stickers I was going to make, but um, yeah, that just didn't happen. So maybe soon, you know? Um, I have like a lot more stuff that I would just really love to focus on on my shop for now. Um, I got these laundry doodles. I got these bubble tea doodles. They're so cute. The fast food breakfast. So cute. This is me. This is like a big breakfast. Um, I also have a big breakfast sticker in my shop, but it's more like a flat lay. And then this is so cute. This is kind of like a redo, this one here. I love that they're smaller. So yeah. Then we have The Sims. I have not played Sims in I don't know how long. I really want to. I just, it's not enough time. But you gotta make time, you know? And these are the food trucks. And this is the pizza night. So that was that first part of that. And then I can't wait to put them away. And a storage video on my sticker storage is coming. Um, I probably should just film it before I go and make my storage a wreck when I go play with stickers. So maybe I'll film that like immediately after this. We'll see. So then here we have another order. Sorry, my phone keeps going off. It's Best Buy. Hold on. Yeah, sorry. Then you get this little journaling card here. I love it so much. I think this might be A6 size. I don't know, but I just love it. I just think there's so much detail and... Zinni's just so brilliant. So then here we have the Henny freebie. I just wanted these like cute little, you know, stickers to hoard pretty much. And then I have the June Facebook exclusive again. We've already seen them, so I won't go in depth. All orders, 20 pound orders. I placed two orders, so 40 pounds, 60 pounds. And that was it. Okay, so that we didn't do that bad that time. These are more Asian snacks. Um, I got a lot of the doodles. Groceries. These are so cute. Marking grocery runs in a different way. C cafe latte. This is my vibe. Like, all of this. I am obsessed with coffee. They have vanilla workplace. I don't really talk to my coworkers that much, but we just got it. <laughs> I mean, I do talk to them, but we're mostly remote. They have vanilla bread. This looks so good. The little cupcake is so cute. Or whatever you want to call it. Um, bath products. I don't really take baths, but you know, in case I do. Vanilla kitchen. This is so cute. Vanilla is like grocery shopping, making tea. I've been having a lot of tea. Um, cleaning. Then I got the Summer Girl Nanas. But these would be so cute to just mark like in my pocket or something like that. Or maybe just keep the sheet in my pocket. Then we have the healthy nanas. I haven't been that healthy, but I've been trying. We have seafood, sleeping, waiting, workaholic. I try not to be a workaholic, but this is a vibe. Like she's eating McDonald's and she's got her little coffee and that's just crazy. That's such a mood. <laughs> we have vanilla recharge, bun and bear mingle. Um, I thought this would be cute tomorrow like going to the gym with my boyfriend. We need to go back to the gym. We have vanilla slumber, collectibles. I thought this would be cute to mark like when I get pops. I love pops so much. Cooking a feast. This was like me like making my cupcakes. So I could use that to mark making cupcakes. Then you have the comfy girls. So cute. I think I love like her. Oh my god. I can't. Then we have cramming beauty routine amazed like amazing then I got the vlogging I don't really vlog maybe one day we'll see but I still thought they'd be cute to mark like stuff for watching YouTube or anything then we have salon I haven't gone to a salon in like four years I need to go get my hair done burnout pamper me don't really do much of that haircut haven't really had one don't really want one um i really like my hair long and i want it to stay long um vanilla outdoor relax vanilla student life me a mood i used to fall asleep with like all my textbooks just on the floor around me um and then 
It's this one, Vanilla Chores. I hate chores, I hate laundry. <laughs> who, who can say they like chores, to be honest? So that was that part. And then <laughs> we have another cello. Let's see this cello. This should be the food doodles. Oh, and I got some flakes. Oh, I didn't even notice the flakes in this one. Some sticker flakes. I think these are on sticker now. Or maybe they're not. If not, it's okay. I will just, no, I think it is. Hold on. Yep, it's a sticker. So you can get these sticky flakes. Well, I don't know if you still can. But I'm going to put this in my pocket or maybe six. And this one, I probably won't take them off of the stickiness. Stickiness. I want them to stay sticky. Um, I won't stick them, but I'll put them in my like uh, jelly things that I have. So here's another one of those beautiful journaling cards. So cute. And then we have the burger joint. We have the spicy chicken. We have the taco joint. Love that. Noodle bowls. Hamburger meal. Donut shop. I don't really go to Dunkin', but um, there is a donut shop close to me. It's just the one that the Dunkin' by my house is trash. And we have coffee shop breakfast. I could use this for so many things. Like, I do usually get a coffee and go to a bagel shop that's local to me. We have strawberry and cream. Spring rolls. I love spring rolls so much. Pet care. This is perfect for all things cannoli. Tempura. Um, ah, Japanese sandwiches. Kebabs. Peri Peri Chicken. I love Nando's and so does like my family. Um, fun fact, I found out about Nando's through One Direction and then introduced it to my whole family. Um, I don't want to butcher this, but I think it's Onigiri. Um, my boyfriend, I think he likes these. Crispy Chicken. I mean, I think I like them too. Southern Food. Love Southern Food. Chicken Goujons. Chicken Goujons. I think that's how you say it. Vanilla period, me right now, sorry if that's TMI. Vanilla barbecue, so cute. Vanilla summer, love a little margarita. And the watermelon, all of it. Then vanilla pool, I have not been to the pool, but my pool is open, so I should go. But I do have a sinus infection, so I probably won't go right now. Vanilla pub, vanilla treats, and vanilla fun fair. So cute. And then last but not least, I, um, and I hope Paper Shire does this forever. I really love their freebies sometimes. I just, you know, we can't always get them all or they don't all come as a um, full sheet. Usually they do, I believe, but, you know, if you ever wanted to have, like, a specific month of the, like, tiered freebies, this is the May one, and um, I had a May order. So this is, um, I'm, like, so confused. Uh, I think I have this as a sheet, so it's okay. But um, I grabbed the May tier freebies. So we have this one here. This might already be a thing. Then you have this one here. Yep, I think so. Yeah, these might be actual sheets now. And then you have this one. Don't think I had this one because I did order in May. You have this one. So some of them you might not have gotten, might not be lucky enough. This is really cute. I like this one. And this is the May Facebook exclusive. I think I have this, so. That was my whole order from Paper Shire. I cannot wait to put these away and play with them. Um, but yeah, that is it for this portion of the haul. And I'll see you guys in the next bit. Hello, lovely friends. I am back with a think is a second part of this haul. And this isn't even everything. This is just what I can currently fit on my desk. This is kind of just all in one shot right now. I didn't film any extras because like... I really didn't get a lot of planning Happy Mail, you know, the month of July. Um, I got a lot more wax, so that's going to be really fun to go through if you're into that type of stuff. Um, but if you're not, I understand, but I would just figure I'm just going to get this wax out of the way so I can have more room on my desk. So we'll move those planner goods out the way and zoom you in. And this is my first order from Caviar Dreams and L3 Waxy Wonders. Lots of people rave about them. And you know, I usually stick to my tried and true, but I wanted to try them out since so many people seem to love them. So let's pull out my L3 order first. 
And these are really strong, like you can smell. Um, I had to cut, sorry about that. Uh, I think I accidentally showed my address on the box, so that's not good. But um, hopefully I'll be able to edit that out, or if it wasn't visible, then whatever. So starting with L3 Wax Wonders, I got this Buttermint Chocolate Chip Cookie Dough Vanilla Ice Cream. Um, uh, I think this is called a Puppy Pack. I'm going to go ahead and zoom in. This is what they look like. And it says... Uh, Parasoy scented wax weight, three plus ounces. Do not eat. My boyfriend always wants to eat the wax, jokingly, of course. But that smells good. It smells just like you know the butter mint. Um, I don't know if I get chocolate chip cookie dough or the vanilla ice cream. Mint is a very overpowering smell, but we'll see if those notes show up when melting the wax. Then I got this little Bitty Betty, which is so cute. Um, and I got the Possession one, which is Cider Donuts Pumpkin Cream Cheese Rolls. Torn about this because I really do care about like the cream cheese rolls part. I don't really care for the pumpkin, and cider sounds good to me as well. So this is the color of it. This is the little tin. And it smells really good. It actually smells so much better than, you know, like my first whiff of it in the bag. Maybe taking it out the bag helped. Um, I didn't take them out the bag the first time. Then we have this farmhouse cider. I forgot what exactly this type of bar is called. Oh, it's a trig tart. Um, it's farmhouse cider. I mean, I love cider. And it, it definitely does have that farmhouse cider vibe. Gonna be so cozy for the fall. I'm like kind of giving up on ordering like summery smells. Um, I do like them from time to time, but they're not my like fave. My collection is just full and full of like seasonal smells, um, like fall and Christmas and whatnot. So this is a sample bag and um, from L3. And so I'm gonna go ahead and open this. Um, so this one here is Seize the Day. I feel like I might have more samples. I just don't know where they are. Um, but this is what it looks like. It's in a little, I think this is called an, a 0 .0, 0 0.8 ounce cup. This is very like fresh. Smells like, you know, the sea. Um, this one is Peppered Suede. Um, I don't think any of these would be like my true favorite notes. But um, that one's nice. It kind of smells like a man. Um like old gentleman <laughs> kind of reminds me of like my grand my grandpa or something and this is saved by zero and it's kind of got like a lemony smell I'm not really sure what it's supposed to be um, you can always go on L3 site and see like you know what the notes are supposed to be that's one thing that's hard for me to shop because like there's no description like there are descriptions but you do have to like go seek them out and like when you're trying to buy because it's so popular like you don't have time for that so the last thing here is hot apple pie iced cinnamon rolls and this one is so strong i can smell it this is a big loaf um mm, this smells really good um kind of making me a little hungry so definitely get that hot apple pie not really so much of a cinnamon rolls but it's not like a too strong on the apple pie if that makes sense so maybe that's like the cinnamon rolls balancing that out but that was my first order from l3 waxy wonders and you will see them in um probably my august collective haul as i just ordered from them um this past friday during their release so i'm gonna pull out the caviar dream stuff and um as always i do let my boyfriend smell this these things but he's not included in the haul but um i get his opinion he was not a huge fan of caviar dreams maybe he'll like it more when it melts but he did not like he says it smells like a certain type of chemical i don't know i don't know if he knows what he's talking about sorry boyfriend if you end up watching this um he does like to watch my videos which annoys me because i don't want him to watch them in front of me but anyways this is my first order from caviar dreams and I'm just going to go ahead and start off here. This is pineapple streusel crumb cake, which is bakery blend of fresh tart pineapple, cinnamon, and brown sugar streusel, moist buttery cake, and vanilla icing. It smells good to me. Reminds me of pineapples, you know, 
sweet pineapple I think is an overpowering scent so I don't think I get too much of the other stuff but it still smells good and then you have southern peach cobbler which is caramelized brown sugar juicy peaches buttery cinnamon sugar crust and vanilla ice cream spoon so this is what that looks like they're so cute mm. I don't know how I feel about that one I don't know if I I don't know if I would say that reminds me of peach cobbler um, this is bun, Suns Out Buns Out, which is maple, sugary glaze, uh, toasted pecans, buttery cinnamon, and brown sugar, and warm dough. And it looks like this little tart with like a little, um, flip flop and the palm tree. And I like this a lot. I love cinnamon rolls, like that's my jam. And then this is a warm apple butterscotch fritter. And the notes are sweet apple cake, gooey caramel, rich butterscotch, vanilla bean, sticky maple syrup, and warm cinnamon. And it smells a lot like apples. Like it smells like fresh clean apples. I'm not really getting like the sweet notes for that. Um, this one here is creme brulee, which is caramelized sugar, creamy custard, vanilla maple, and hint of coconut. This is what the toppings look like. It smells good. I definitely get like the vanilla and maybe some custard. I don't know if I really get maple. I think I definitely get the coconut. So that's my thoughts on that. And then um, this here is the um, free gift. I think this is the mint chocolate chip something. Oh no, this mint chocolate chip. Um, I didn't end up getting that, but I did get a gift, which is cute. And then I got the campfire waffles, which are plump wild bl blueberries, maple syrup, crispy waffles, and toasted marshmallows. And this is what it looks like. One of my favorite Bath and Body Works candles is actually the blueberry maple pancakes. So, and it smells really good. It kind of, you know, it has some of those elements. I don't know if it's as strong, but still, I like it. This is another sampler. I think this is Rainbow Party Punch is what it says. And my boyfriend, I think he liked this one. It smells good. I'm not typically like a um, uh, fruity type of person. Like, I buy them, but like, are they my favorite? Not really. But um, I don't know if anyone's ever had Rainbow Party Punch. It's pretty much like that sherbet you get at the grocery store that's like orange, green, and like pinkish color or red and you usually like mix like fruit punch and like sprite me and all my cousins used to go crazy for that along with the high c orange um that you could get at like mcdonald's um and yeah we used to love that when i was a kid but i remember it would give you the worst stomach ache because of all the sherbet um and the sugar um but this is cookies birthday shake which is warm chocolate chip cookies frosted birthday cake gooey toasted marshmallow and vanilla milkshake and it's this cute little milk jar with these little cookie bits on the back and it smells good it smells pretty sweet um smells like cookies so yeah so now that we've gotten that out the way i'll go ahead and go into my planner orders and then finish up again with i believe it is orders from fantasy wax um villainous wax and uh nerdy wax so um here we have my spc order so we'll start off with that gotta make sure to get my invoice out of here so you guys don't see my address um so i made a big spc order and just decided to get some stuff that um that was going out like some kits so um I got some doodles as well. Um, this first kit here is the We Did It kit. I decided to actually pick up this kit because my school color has green in it and I didn't know if this would ever be reformatted. I'm not close to graduating quite yet, but it is, you know, coming up on the horizon. And if I end up graduating like the same time with my boyfriend, then this works really well. I'll probably just omit this box and, you know, ignore that and just replace it with the other one that I got as the add-on but I just thought this would work really well especially with the greens um, because my school color is green and gold um, and then I got the add-on I got this add-on you know for my boyfriend he doesn't look anything like this um, but it's fine but he you know he has had his hair super long 
during quarantine. He hasn't since, but whatever. And then I got this one for me, even though I don't really 100% resemble that either because I don't have bangs. <laughs> but um, for that kit, I got the um, add-on. Like, so I figured this would work well for, you know, marking graduating or whatever, as, long, as well as, you know, like party whatever I didn't need it to be you know it has enough graduation elements so if I end up changing I'll maybe de-sash this kit but I think I'm good so I got the 15 millimeter washi and I got the label add-on and then for um, fall I'm not going to open each kit I don't really feel like putting them back in the solos um, and you can always go on the site or watch the new release video to see the kits but I also got pumpkin season and I got the 15 millimeter add-on for that and I got the label sampler which is over here so that's that and then I got tin turn I think that's how you pronounce it um, and I got the fashion girl add-on I got the 15 millimeter and I got the label add-on so really excited to use this. I'm definitely feeling this more for November rather than, you know, September, or October. So we'll see. I th I think I could also pull this for November as well. It does have, you know, like fall but going into like, you know, right after Halloween. I don't necessarily get rid of like jack-o'-lanterns and pumpkins and stuff like that right after Halloween. I usually try to wait until the week of Thanksgiving to go into like my Christmas um, decor so I feel like this would be great for either the week after Halloween or whatnot we'll see how my lineup goes because in September I have a wedding to attend and I'm also going to New York so that's like two weeks that I know I won't be able to have and then like usually the first week of September I try to do something like kind of academic um, fall vibes so we'll see and you'll also see like what I have in mind for that with my Caress press haul um, but here is the rest of my SPC goodies so I got this um, freebie I got the $300 freebie I did not spend $300 but it's really pretty it's hollow it's the label sampler love that and then um, got this uh, script freebie which is like the lavender hollow I think and then I got um, this rack. It's Christmas themed, which I love. I used this kit last year, so I'll probably de-stash this um, as I don't think I'll reuse it. Um, if I did, it won't be the same weeks. Or sometimes I do try to hold on to these to like show how my stickers from my shop would fit with them, but we'll see. I got this gold um, uh, bougie, you know, why does she call them? Uh, wiggle gold wiggle boxes um, with two overlays the headers and the um slit headers i might hold on to that and the script sampler that's in gold uh, for the rack bag which is grocery run starbucks run appointment target run so i probably will hold on to that probably not the kit add-on but kit extras i should say and then last but not least we have these doodles here and i got these little coca-cola doodles um so cute coke is my favorite i got the walmart bags um and the tote in the little plastic bag and then i got these waffles flatly i got these um wax warmers we have these um wax cups this uh, pastel youtube I got the Amazon boxes, got the Target bags in pastel and classic, and you know, the little uh, fabric tote bag, reusable bag, and then I got the um, plastic bag and classic, and then I got these noodles, um, these look like pancakes again, no, the other one were waffles, these are pancakes, this is eggs and bacon, some or ramen I think it's ramen um, I got these cute little donuts I got these Apple watches these little boba cups and these little takeout um, doodles so that was my order from Scrubble Friends Co um, super excited to put everything all away and play with stuff and especially have the fall kits it's definitely helping me feel my fall vibes kind of in that point of summer right now um, Luckily, it hasn't been too humid, and um, 
I know it's gonna change, but it's been great, and you know, it's been nice to be outside and not sweating to death. Um, so yeah, and this is my order from Kinsey's Creations. I actually ordered from her before she closed, but um, you know, like before her closing sale, like before before that, and I just had this for a while, so. Let me go ahead and open my order. She also gave me a rack, which is right here, um, with my favorite, which is the farmhouse script. So I got the July and August freebie. Um, so cute. I love the doodles. And then I got some $2 Tuesdays. I got the dentist appointment. Um, I did have a dentist appointment, so that'll be nice. Disney Marathon doctor appointment. I had one of those two. Eye appointment. F work. Had a lot of those moments. Um, Loki, I you know, watched and finished Marvel Marathon, F work again, F work and F work. I don't know if she gave me those as extra. I don't remember buying like four. Um, but these are the iMac icons. I got some doodles, so these are going to work great for me. Um, so I got the iMac icons. I got the iPad icons, the laptop icon, the mailbox icon, nail polish icon, and open cloud icon. So that's that um, for that part and this is the rack and I think I'll have good use out of all of these racks all the scripts in the rack I've opened them when I first got them it's been a while though so I have buy all the stickers totally a mood grumpy AF moody AF busy AF plan tired AF productive AF productive AF F today shitty day shit storm of a day that was my rack and order from Kenzie's Creations, who's now closed, but she's still my good friend, so I can always get some stickers from her and just Venmo or PayPal. Okay, so this is my order from Caress Press, and I'll start off at the top. I got the August Pink Sands monthly. Um, it's currently August right now, as so I'm filming this and wrapping this up. I don't know how to even say this. Estate. Um, I got that with the 15 millimeter add-on. Um, I think that's the only add-on I got, and I got the full kit, and you got this freebie in the back. No other freebies. Though. So then I got the Autumn in the City. This is for when I go to New York. If you want to see what they look like, feel free to pull up the site. I'm sorry that I'm not flipping through each one with you, um, but you get these add-on um, boxes. I don't really love the Fashion Girls, but it's it is what it is. Um. See, so yeah, I'm going to New York with my mom and my boyfriend in the fall, and I will be seeing my first Broadway show ever, which will be so cool. And then I am going to a wedding, and I got the fashion add-on for the couple um, that's getting married. It's, you know, one of my boyfriend's uh, former co-workers and friends um, getting married, the guy. So um, I got the I Do kit, and I'm going to be using that. So that was my order from Caress Press. And then let's get in to, hold on, hold on one second, yeah, okay, I have to remove my invoice, um, make sure my address is not out, but, um, this is going to be my orders from Fantasy Wax, so, Pull out fantasy wax first and then keep going through Ooh. all right so this is from fantasy wax these three in this freebie this is the pistachio cake freebie which i think is the like harry potter happy birthday little cake thing i didn't get a chance to pick it up but it's okay mm, it smells good yummy i'm always like hesitant and skeptical of like the pistachio but it actually smells good so then i got the sorting hat which is cinnamon sugar pretzel it smells so good and i asked for ravenclaw because i'm a ravenclaw mm, it smells so good then i got the platform nine and three quarters which is fresh coffee and baked pastries and this is what that looks like and it smells really good it's definitely a different type of coffee than their usual one I like I love their usual one and then this is Brian's favorite which is mint chocolate chip mm, it smells so good this smells like real true like mint chocolate chip ice cream which is, I think what they said um, when they uh, made that for Brian's birthday 
so let's go ahead and get into this stuff so i'll just grab this one on the top um most of this is villainous wax uh, and i think at the bottom it might be fantasy wax so we'll see um but first up we'll do country of critters which is fluffy brisket fluffy brisket fluffy biscuits drizzled in wildflower honey and dried tree bark and this is what it looks like it smells good i don't really like the like um tree bark and the flower um just reminds me of like allergies but i wonder how it'll throw and smell when it's melted if i'll get more of that biscuit this is liberty square which is cornbread sponge sugar and chopped pecan chopped pecans and wheat bread and that one smells really good. This is what it looks like. This is Capara. It is a wax melt sample. So I did not order this, but it was in my order as a sample. This is Smoked Woods, Warm Sand, and a love so powerful you'd carry their scents. Mm, that smells good. I definitely get that smoked wood. This is Toon City. It is hard candy, sweet strawberry, cotton candy, and sour dip acid. Not sure how I'm going to feel about this sour dip acid. It smells good. I'm not typically a fan of like sour candy smells though. This is Honker Burger Special. Honker Burger Special, which is chocolate mint chip shakes with minty whipped cream. So this is what that looks like. It smells good, but I definitely think the Brian's favorite smells like stronger. Um, this is Dinoland USA. It's carnival kettle corn with a dusting of coconut and ground dinosaur bones. And it smells good. It definitely has like kettle corn. That's what it looks like on the back. But yeah, that smells good. This is Small Small World. Um, this is buttercream icing, pink sugar cookies, and lemon slices. And it's got like a heart one and some other, you know, um, I don't really know how they call that. It smells good. I definitely get that lemon. I do get like sweetness too. Like softness. Sweet softness. Then this is Main Street USA and it is red candy apples, fresh cotton candy, funnel cake, and spun cotton candy. And this is what it looks like. It looks so cute. It smells so good. This is what one of them looks like. It's a little like Mickey hat. So cute gotta love it if this doesn't have the uh, nerdy wax I will have to see where I put it or maybe I'll have to double check if I even got any nerdy wax this is down by the river this is caramel drizzled beignets mm, smells good I don't know if I really get caramel I think I probably am getting some beignet this is Frontierland, which is maple syrup, hickory smoked bacon, cornbread, and wheat bread. That's what it looks like. Mm, the bacon is too strong, but I guess it is nice. It's whatever you prefer. This is Fantasyland, which is bubbly 7-up pound cake, hot tea, and Viva La Juicy type. It's been forever since I probably even smelled Viva La Juicy. It smells good. It definitely has like um, probably more of the juicy if I had to guess. Maybe I can smell bubbly. I don't know if I can smell bubbly. Seven up pound cake, hot tea. Hmm. This is poisonous bitch. <laughs> Sorry for the profanity. Um, it's juicy Macintosh, apple vanilla cream, and fizzy potions. That's what it looks like. It looks cute. I like it. Yeah, I think I can definitely get the vanilla cream and the Macintosh apple. Oh, it doesn't want to stay on. This is President's Hall, which is strawberry and blueberry pie with whipped cream. That's what it looks like. Mm, that smells good. Um, we have Phil Harmonic Magic, which is hot apple pie with sugar cookie crust. Mm, kind of torn. I think the hot apple pie is a lot, um, like, spicier than, like, the other hot apple pie stuff I have from, like, L3 Waxy Wonders. Then we have Lost Expedition, which is herbal tea 
warm incense, snowy mountains, and a thrashed base camp. That smells good. Um, very like clean and like relaxing. This is churro frenzy, which is warm churros dipped in spice caramel and cinnamon sugar. Mm, that smells good. That's good. Then we have very villainous birthday, which is a birthday cake, buttercream frosting, and crushed pink sugar cookie topping. This is what it looks like. I think this is a sampler rather than I ordered this. And it smells really good. Love me some birthday cake. This is Good Night Moon, which is another sample, and it says clean baby snuggles, bedtime stories, and a long forgotten cup of tea. So this is just what it looks like in the bag. It does smell like babies. It smells or like relaxing, like babies, or you know, when you put on, um, what is that? Like, I don't know, when I, I feel like when I was a kid I had a nebulizer or something. I don't know, it smells like Vicks ba Baby Rub, I don't know. This is Flo's Classic, which is blueberry compote, whole wheat pancakes, and buttery maple syrup. So that's what that looks like. Got this little waffle. This smells good. Really good. Yum yum. That reminds me more of like blueberry maple pancakes from like Bath and Body Works. This is Bouncing Lamp Lounge which is white peach slices, seltzer water, and mulled wine. This is what it looks like. I can definitely kind of smell how fresh it is. Mm -hmm. It's a very much more like clean scent. And then this is Jolly Confectionery, which is biscotti crumbles, vanilla drizzles, and toasted almond silk liver. Smells good. It's not like anything, you know, amazing for me, but it smells good. This is Pandora, which is Macintosh Apple Pear Puree. Macintosh Apple Pear Puree, Guava Juice, and Passion Fruit Boba. I'm pretty sure I had this drink when I went to um, Epcot a few years ago. And it smells really good. I definitely just mostly get the apple, but it smells really good. And then this is Kumadra which is a sample and it was waterfalls, sunshine, stone bridges, and peaceful happiness. Very clean, not really my jam. Okay, I think that's it for this box. So I'm gonna have to find my other box or like confirm that I had that and I wasn't imagining. But this is the last one from Villainous Wax and it's uh, New Orleans Place, which is fluffy beignets, powdered sugar, and cinnamon. And I'm sure you're probably like, how many powdered sugar beignet cinnamons do you need? And I'm going to say all of them. And I don't really know if I like this one. We'll have to see how it works when it's melted. But um, give me a second. I should be right back um, if I don't find the package that I think I'm thinking about. <laughs> Hold on. Alright, so I think I was imagining that nerdy wax order, but I did locate this while I was looking for that. So this is the last thing in this haul. Um, I cancelled my cloth and paper sub, so I will not be getting another one. Um, they're just quite expensive and I'm trying to cut back on spending. So, yeah. Um, I don't even think I used any of the inserts that I got, but I was very glad for the extras um, from last time. But um, pretty much you get this Pennspiration board. I already tested the pens because I was too excited. Maybe I will sign up for the pen one because I can definitely see myself using them. Um, I love pens a lot. <laughs> Sorry. Um, so it says, look at what inspired our July 2021 pen box. And then um, you have this little journaling card with like the wine, the lemons, the little net bags and peaches um, and whatnot. And it says on the back, it says this month is all about traveling and exploring new places. With that being said, write about your dream vacation. Disney, hands down. Um, and then this is just the one that tells you everything that's in there. What's inside is his dashboards, circle sticky note set, spotlight page flags, travel labels, stickers, Drilling cards, uh, reusable pouch, and inserts, and dashboards. I don't know if I said dashboards already. So, this is the little pouch. I don't even know how to say this. I'm not going to butcher it so you guys can make fun of me. But here are the pins. 
I already took them out of the little thing and put them in this little clear envelope that comes. I think that's what they're for. Um, you know, I think they came in here at first, but I think that's what that little envelope's for. And then here are the little circular stick, sticky notes. Um, I definitely think I'll try to use these or if I can remember to. These are the travel stickers. Maybe I will try to use these too. I don't really travel enough. Um, this is the spotlight page flags. I did want to get into minimal planning, so we'll see. Um, and then this is for September. Uh, these little cards, you know, with the date, with the month. And then I was subscribed to the B6 sub, so um, you get B6 goodies. So I have this little um, vellum. It says, I saw that my life was a uh, fast glowing empty page and I could do anything I wanted. I don't know how to say this. Jay Carousel? Jay Carousel? I don't know who that is. <laughs> but um, this is cute. I like that a lot. This says something about traveling. I think this is just like a little journaling card. Um, this is a packing list. Maybe I'll use this for when I go to New York. Um, this is a daily itinerary. Maybe I'll try to use this. Um, ideally, like this is really cool. And this is for September. And I'll go ahead and open these. Hold on. So this is September and it's just dated like this. Um, maybe I'll give these a try. I don't think she sells B6 inserts in her shop though. I don't know. Maybe she does. Um, maybe they do. I don't know if it's she or they or he. So I'll say they. Um, so yeah, those are the B6 inserts. The weekly um, 2021 horizontal for September. So yeah, that was everything from this box. Um, here are the pens. I, I think I already showed what they look like with the test so that's what they look like love them a lot um so yeah that was everything for this haul bit um i hope you guys enjoyed this video uh thank you so much for watching and i will catch you guys in my next video bye